I wanted to create a short video on another trigger to migraines. When I was in practice, I saw this all the time. There were people that had headaches that are drinking a lot of coffee and they didn't connect the dots. So I wanted to include them in the list and just to make sure that you were aware that caffeine is definitely a trigger to migraines. 87% of Americans drink coffee with an average amount of caffeine of 164 milligrams every single day. And there's an interesting study that I'm going to put down below that demonstrates two or more caffeinated beverages per day can trigger migraines. Three to four servings of caffeinated beverages will increase it by 1.5 times. And five servings of a caffeinated beverage will increase your chance of getting migraine by 2x. Now, when we talk about migraines, it's a very complex uh, topic because no one really knows exactly what causes migraines. They have theories. Uh, we do know the triggers can be weather, could be sleep, stress, low blood sugars, loud noises, bright lights. But from working with quite a few people over many years, uh, I narrowed down some really good remedies to help people with headaches. Um, I'm just going to include this one at the top decrease caffeine. I would actually completely eliminate caffeine from your diet. And you're going to find that after about two weeks, when there's no more withdrawal symptoms, you may find your migraines are completely gone. All right, number two, a magnesium deficiency can actually set you up for migraines. So take more magnesium. Number three, if you don't already know this, a ketogenic diet will usually greatly reduce if not completely eliminate migraines, simply because your brain loves ketones. And when you make the switch, all sorts of wonderful things happen to your brain. So get on a ketogenic diet, low carb. If you're new to my channel, I put a link down below. Number four, if you have low sodium, that can trigger a migraine. I did an entire video on that one topic. I put the link down below, check it out. And so with this, I would recommend taking like about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, dissolve it in some water, and drink that several times a day. That seems to work really nicely, especially if you have a pattern of uh, migraines that happen every so often and you can predict when they come, you can drink this salt water before it occurs and hopefully suppress a migraine. Number five is very, very common. <laughs> So many people have gallbladder issues, and there's a nerve from the diaphragm right on top of where the gallbladder is that goes all the way up to your neck, and it can refer pain up into the head on the right side. So if your migraine is on the right side or you have headaches on the right side, suspect gallbladder, and you need to obviously change your diet, but one real simple cool thing you could do is just massage the gallbladder underneath your right rib cage. It's probably going to be very swollen and congested. And just notice if your headache or migraine goes away, in which case, if it does, then we know there's a connection. And now you need to watch the videos that I have on the gallbladder. I'll put some links down below. But it's called the phrenic nerve. And anything on the right side, shoulder, arm, the whole thing, check the gallbladder. Number six, if you get migraines that time of the month, it's usually related to estrogen your estrogen dominance. So there's a whole protocol for that. I put a link down below. You're going to probably need to take some iodine or seek help, better yet, or something called DIM, which is a concentrated cruciferous type product that can help regulate excessive amounts of estrogen. All right, there you have it. This is the complete list. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.